I want to welcome the new players, welcome to the team, and we'll see you at the orientation at 6.30. I won't keep you long. You know, Nichols has a great tradition. We have a, a Hall of Fame, in, which we started way back in the 80s, and to date we have close to 100 of our student athletes are in our Hall of Fame, 26 football players, in fact. Last week, the, the Hall of Fame uh, committee, selection committee met, and we've inducted six new people into our Hall of Fame. The event is, will happen on Saturday, the 21st of September, in advance, uh, or right before our game with Arkansas. The Saturday. Langston that day. Or Langston, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. I wanted to just identify those teams or individuals that are going into our Hall of Fame. We inducted our 1979 men's tennis team. They nearly won the national championship that year. A softball player, Rashawn Taylor, was a great pitcher, or a great uh, player for us. Rogers Washington was a local guy here from Franklin, a basketball player in the 90s. Bobby Morrow was a baseball player, was a pitcher for us in the early 60s. And Morris Brown was the first athletics director and basketball coach. So all those five guys, folks, will be inducted on the uh, 21st of September. But none of you think that I came here to tell you that we are inducting a softball player. Did you, did you? There's one other person that we're inducting, and he happens to be a member of your football coaching staff. And that person is Greg Greeley. Coach Greeley? Yeah. Come on out. Come on out, Greg. Yeah. Couldn't be more deserved. Let me give you a little highlight about Coach Greeley, our own Coach Greeley. Coach Greeley was in 1982 and 83 made the All-Louisiana team, and he didn't stop there because in 1984, he was All-Golf uh, Conference defensive back. He was the 1984 team captain, and he is the career leader in interceptions to this day. Some 30 years later, yes. he still holds that record. Exactly. The most yards and interception <laughs> returns in a single season was 141. He happened to return two that same year for a touchdown, one for 87 yards. In addition to that, he led the team in interceptions his sophomore, junior, and, season, and senior seasons. In, 80, in his sophomore season was seven, five, and four interceptions, respectively. By the time he had reached his junior, se his junior season, he already exceeded the leader in interceptions. For that, uh, he, not only was he uh, uh, a thief in the backfield, but he was also a great tackler. He led the team with 162 tackles. In, in that one year. So he had an incredible playing year career. He was also uh, drafted in the second round by the San Antonio Gunsinglers. Yes, sir. So on behalf of the Hall of Fame Selection Committee, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mike Wagon, I'm coming to you here from the Hall of Fame room in Barker Hall for Colonel's All Access, joined by one of the newest members of the Nichols Athletics Hall of Fame, Greg Greeley from the football program. First off, congratulations. How does it feel? Mike, thank you so much. It's a great feeling. Uh, it's just a blessing, a dream come true to me. Uh, it was announced earlier today. In fact, we just got out of practice at the end of practice. Coach Stubbs, Rob Bernardi letting the whole program know, hey, this guy's your newest member of the Nichols Athletics Hall of Fame. You'll be inducted in a few weeks prior to the home opener against Langston. This is really the culmination of, of a life's worth of work. Exactly. I agree. I really appreciate uh, Rob, and I really appreciate Coach Stubbs very much. You know, they reached out to me. They've done so much for me in a short period of time. Uh, it's a blessing to be elected into the Nichols Athletic Hall of Fame, and I'm just so proud of myself right now. What are, you, what are some of your best memories of your time here? My best memories uh, was the time when I was a freshman. We went up to northeast Louisiana. It's now UL Monroe. And I was a starting freshman, a walk-on freshman. I was at cornerback. And they had a Hall of Fame quarterback themselves. And he threw a pass out, and I picked it off, and I returned at 87 yards to put us in the lead. Now, a lot of Nichols Athletics Hall of Famers, they're elected. They come back for induction. It's their first time on campus in a long time. You left for a long time, but now you're back. In fact, a student assistant with a football team as you finish up your bachelor's degree. That has to make it extra special. Absolutely. It is a special moment and a special time for me right now, Mike. And, uh, you know, I give thanks and glory to God for it. Uh, you know, I prayed on this moment, and it, it came and manifested and came true. And I'm just so happy and proud right now. 
Uh, the statistics weren't enough. I think anybody who knows the name Greg really knows what you brought to the program. Now coming back and being a role model, and being an inspiration to our student athletes, showing them doesn't matter how many years down the road, education is valuable, I, I think just adds to it. Exactly. Absolutely. Education is the most important thing. It was important to me back then, but I fluttered in some areas. But now I'm, I'm more focused, and it means so much to me to be here at my university finishing my, my degree, and uh, I'll have it soon. You ready to tell your family? Oh, uh, yes, I am. I am. I really appreciate everything you all have done for me, and it's been a blessing. All right. Well, they might know before his family <laughs> knows because we'll have this up soon. Thank you so much, Coach. Congratulations. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. Greg Greeley, one of the newest members of the Nichols Athletics Hall of Fame. He will be officially inducted prior to the Langston game, home opener for the Colonels this season. This has been Mike Wagenheim for Colonels All Access.